As the Secretary General said, the opportunities before us are enormous, but so are the challenges. Absolutely, for-profit tech firms and SMEs have a role to play. But I think the broader picture here is that the ICT industry has created a fabulous infrastructure to create and distribute public social goods, whether those goods are in education, healthcare, enabling entrepreneurship, or any number of other things. There are so many disruptive models out there. In the Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship, we see so many of our social entrepreneurs leveraging technology solutions to reach more people at lower cost for better outcomes. So recommendations? Yes, companies are starting to understand the disruptive power of these business models. They are starting to see social entrepreneurs as living R&D laboratories, a pioneering um, solutions for the last mile for low-income customers, the customers of tomorrow. I think generally though, there is less of an understanding and appreciation among the public sector for the disruptions that these um, solutions can bring to the table. And thus there's less of a natural link being made to how these kinds of models can improve public services. So that's number one, change your mindsets. Engage with social entrepreneurs as sounding boards, as strategic advisors, um, you know, systematically engage them in the conversation around uh, the enabling power of ICT technology. Second recommendation is procurement. Procurement tends to favor long-standing large institutions that deliver traditional approaches. That doesn't necessarily lend it very, itself very well to disruption. Uh, USAID and Gavi and others have started experimenting with approaches, um, competitions and others, uh, where the winners are then given uh, funding to implement the idea. So this idea of bringing social entrepreneurs, SMEs and other actors into the procurement process is still at, a, at its infancy, but it holds an enormous amount of potential and I really encourage the member states to experiment and innovate with procurement solutions. Third, data ownership, use, and privacy. I think there are a lot of legal and regulatory issues um, that make this a very murky area. Um, and in times of crisis, you can think when the Ebola crisis hit, or even outside of crisis mode, um, it's not clearly established and defined. When are data sets public social goods? And when are they private, monetizable, proprietary assets? I think there needs to be much more clarity in the regulatory space happening in this area, uh, because otherwise it's going to slow down disruptive business models.